hello friends welcome back to my channel this is another video on the azure devops series we will be creating a service connection from our project to azure subscription using a service principle this is our project uh, fitnessgeek-iac and i'll go and create a service connection for our azure subscription select azure resource manager uh, we have already had a video on the autom uh, the automatic one the recommended way we will now create a service principle the manual way uh, i'll go to my azure subscription i've already started my cloud shell uh, this is the command i uh, will be using the azure cli command the azadsp create for rbac and uh, i've already created the script it's um, you know just you need to replace the scope i uh, i am giving the scope as my resource group so if you see uh, it has a subscription id and the resource group so you know i'm trying to give it to the uh, give it the permission uh, only to the particular resource group i don't want to have contributor uh, on the entire subscription i'll paste it here and i will run that it will give me the subs uh, the tenant id and a secret first it will create the service principle and it will give me all the details here i will copy that and i'll use that to create my service connection let's press enter and it is creating it has created it uh, now let's copy this app id and the tenant id i'll copy that paste it here for using it in our service connection let's go back to our azure devops select service principle and click next environment is azure cloud scope is subscription let's let's copy the subscription id paste the subscription id in subscription id text box next is subscription name that's my subscription name the service principle id this will be there in the result of our azure cli command where we created the service principle copy the app id paste it in your service principle id we will use credential as the service principle key let's go back and copy the password that our azure cli command generated copy that and paste it in your service principal key tenant id that too is available in our result from our azure cli so let's copy this from here and paste it here and now let's double check if you haven't missed anything yeah all is fine let's go ahead and verify verify verification succeeded now let's give it a name spn and yes so just give it an identifier given a description that you want which is optional Scroll down, grant access permissions to all pipelines, verify and save. So we have successfully created our new service connection using service principle. Now if you want to double check the name, if I click that, you will see the name would be as we specified in our Azure CLI command. So AZ DevOps, that's the name of the service principle we created so everything is good in future if you want the service principle to have more permissions you can go ahead and uh, use the portal or your azure cli to give it more permissions you can do that always and to use that in your yaml wherever you have used the service principle uh, you know you know the azure subscription just replace that with the new one and it should be all good so this is all about creating a service uh, service principle and using it to create a service connection thanks for watching and keep supporting